What is everybody? Oh, thanks, everybody. So we have to carry on here. Icon. Right. Uh, okay, so Atakan from NNA Sweden to give a short update on snus, which kind of fe feels a bit funny when we have Bengt Vivari here and we have Inge Delfos here, who probably together know more about snus than anybody else alive, mm -hmm. I would imagine. Um, good news first. Um, as of a little while ago, it is actually legal to import and use and probably soon also sell snus in New Zealand, based on harm reduction principles, not rules of trade, not something else, not, but basically based on health. Uh, we don't know where that's going to go, but that's the status of it. It's kind of gray. It's actually not blatantly legal like vaping. No. It's, it's but, a gray area, but it will be because, sorry, I just interrupted, sorry. Um, <laughs> When I had the discussion with the Ministry of Health, they have no problem with snus. It's just it's one of those things that hasn't actually been dealt with. Right. It will be dealt with shortly. So right. expect within three months. Yeah. So we don't know yet, but but yeah. according to Marawa Glover, basically the the way they look at it is yeah, that it is now yeah. it is now perhaps not legal, but it's okay, and the yeah. decision that it's okay is based on health, not yeah. something else, and that's important. Yeah. The other good news is that as of now, uh, it is no longer negligence to recommend a patient in Sweden that has COPD and CVD, i.e. to stop smoking by using snus. Up until, up until now, that has actually been negligence, medical negligence. So that's where the good news ends. <laughs> um, at the same time that we took away the gross negligence bit with regards to recommending snus as a cessation method, Sweden did something absolutely brilliant. There are four categories globally that we are looking to for NCDs, non-communicable diseases. And it's tobacco, it's booze, it's sedentary lifestyle, and it's lack of exercise. In Sweden, we have five categories. So we have tobacco smoking, and then we have booze, and then we have sedentary lifestyle, and then we have uh, obesity, of course. Sorry, I, I mis misspoke. Obesity is the fourth one. And number five, we have snus. So snus is the fifth most pressing public health problem in Sweden, according to the Swedish national guidelines on the treatment and prevention of unhealthy lifestyles. I had a meeting with the public health agency that's taken us 10 years to get on the 24th of April. And basically they are not budging, not one millimeter. And they are circling back to the Swedish mistranslation of the FCTC where the noun harm reduction in Article 1D has been flipped to a verb i.e. Supply, re supply reduction and demand reduction results in harm reduction. So that's what it looks like on the Swedish front. The Danish front, we have the, there are three companies that are producing fairly popular tobacco products, the Chew Bags. Chew Bags, I argue, some disagree, is essentially snus. It's snus that's just produced in a slightly different fashion and is currently legal to sell in the EU whereas uh, the German state of Westfalen I think have most normal virus failure Westfalen I was born there okay sorry if I <laughs> and um, that is coming up in the European Court of Justice, just like the snus ban appeal went up in the European Court of Justice. I was there, uh, NNA UK was there, and Swedish Match was there, and it was an absolutely bizarre experience because NNA UK and Swedish Match, they kept very close to center line of what is absolutely verifiable. Whereas the state advocate for Norway, 
for, you, for the UK, the advocate for the Parliament, for the Commission, and for the Council, had an absolute orgy of trying to outdo each other in how outrageous claims they could make in court. And just as, as our friend from Germany here said, that if you have a negative and a positive, you will end up somewhere in between. I think they use the same tactic in the court, that if they are outrageous enough, then the end result will be somewhere around what they were asking for. And the Danish Advocate General came out on uh, April 12th with his uh, recommendation for the court, and the recommendation is pretty damning reading, saying that um, absolutely under no circumstances whatsoever can we lift the snooze ban in Europe. I think that's pretty much, okay. well, unless there are questions, of yeah. course. Any questions? Yeah. Yeah. Claude? What about the, the ban on uh, the ban or the net, net possible ban on the uh, SNES without the base in it? Oh, the ZIN. Um, that's an open question. Because uh, the, the argument to the. I don't believe it. It's exactly that. Uh, but uh, what was entirely oriented on uh, SNES is tobacco, and we must buy tobacco at all price. Like uh, people could uh, smoke SNES at all. Uh, if there is no tobacco, and vaping is uh, okay, and selling e liquids is okay, what's the difference? And in what terms is still tobacco without tobacco? I couldn't really reply to that, I don't know. But in the meeting with the Swedish Public Health, uh, National, Health National Board of Health and Welfare on, in April, uh, they were actually pretty clear that it, vaping is preferable. We, we can accept vaping if we can still carry on the work to get rid of snus. Yeah, so basically they said that on, on the sidelines, which of course is a public health catastrophe yeah. for the nicotine using part of 6.5 billion people. We are, the, we are the 1 billion and then there are the other 6.5 billion people of which a sizable portion use tobacco. Who cannot afford vapor? So Sweden Sweden is going to take this as far as they can. There is, there is discord in the political parties, but from the public health, from the National Board of Health and Welfare, from the uh, current government, it's all in. Double or nothing. And it seems they got the, the European Court of Justice with. So that's, that's coming out in August. Pretty self-evident that it's going to uphold the ban. Yes, thank you. Can I just add something? Yes, thank you yes. from the uh, hashtag EU for Um The uh, European uh, Court of Justice, I mean, miracles have happened, so let's hope for a miracle for Snooze when the final verdict comes. Of course. Um, EU for Snooze, we are now several thousand followers from 100 country, countries, including every country in the European Union. 70% of the members are 34 years old or younger, and 40% are uh, women. Wow. Uh, so we, we, haven't, we would never give up. <clears throat> uh, and then I, I can report something. Um, I've, I've personally been trying to find out how the Swedish political parties are, are they saying yes or no to students? Um, there will be a government uh, vote uh, in August, September, I think, to make it more difficult uh, to move the snooze fridges to forbid uh, photos of snooze cans in the e-sales. Uh, and I'm happy to announce that as of, as of today, the majority is against 
the social go the socialistic minority government's proposal. Yep. So it looks like this is going to be uh, taken away. There's also, in the suggestion from the minority government, there's also a suggestion to forbid uh, exhaling of a vape outdoors, uh, which is uh, also uh, yeah, uh, on, in public places outdoors. So uh, it looks like it's going to be uh, uh, a victory for snooze and, and e-cigarettes, uh, in this case at least. In that little respect, yes. Yeah. So, but I think we can be, I mean, <coughs> those of you who are more into the vaping bits, you always get support from the SNUS crowd, and we try to always include vaping when we communicate. Just in brackets, and e-cigarettes, and e-cigarettes, and e-cigarettes. Just thousands and thousands and thousands of times. And I would urge you to please try to do the same when you communicate vaping. I know, I know, it's, 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 I keep repeating it, I keep repeating it, and maybe a miracle will happen. Miracles, you know. Yeah. It's good to believe. Yes. Could you please uh, pronounce miracle a little bit, a little bit better? Otherwise, it sounds like miracle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thank you. It's okay. Don't worry. Um, what, did that, what did that sound like? Miracle. 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 Um, uh, like miracle. 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 Yeah. Aren't, aren't we kind of fond of her? Huh? Aren't we a little bit fond of her for, for pissing off Trump? Isn't that good? <laughs> you know, you know, you know. I, uh, Merkel, Merkel is against e-cigarettes, so I am against Merkel. Okay. Uh, <laughs> as simple as that. That's fair enough. Fair enough. Okay, it's three thirty, so you guys have a break, and then when you come back, um, there'll be the presentation from a part of Pelosa. Okay. So what time does everybody need to be back? Everybody needs to be back here by three forty-five. Oh, wait.